Hello, I'm back in my me, me, uh, mobile laboratory. I've got my new cell in here. I won't pull it out because uh, it fits so snugly in at the moment. Just one cell. Plan on putting a second in there once I've built it. But for now, I'm just going to test this and see what it's like. Got the positive going into uh, the middle plate, negative coming out the outside plates four plates in between I'm in my van because uh, you know this is the only place I'll get a proper um, power supply got the voltmeter it's not connected up got my new amp meter here which I haven't connected yet as soon as I do it should start producing hydrogen or HHO so uh, let's get on with it Okay, it's hooked up now. Nothing. <laughs> What's going on? Right, uh, okay, I've hit some kind of problem. You can see the volts there. Seems to be going through okay. That comes from the positive. Down to the middle plate. The negative comes out to here. This is just the multimeter, this one. And there is some bubbles being produced. Very, very few. So, I don't know. This is only tap water in here though. Right, I'm back in the van again. I've added to the water, I've added um, the potassium hydroxide. Mixed it up, so uh, we'll see if that makes any difference at all. As you might notice the uh, these cable ties I put in there after I took it out and inspected before it seems like uh, a couple one at the top on this side was uh, well it was almost touching this one I don't think it was quite touching but it was too close so I, I just stuck in this cable tie for now just to separate it and in doing that the, the next one needed to be done as well uh, because it had been pushed over so anyway let's uh, attach it and see what we get There's definitely more bubbles than before. Just shows what a difference it makes. The reason I'm using um, tap water as well is because I've run out. Well, I haven't run out, of, but I haven't got enough to fill this up with distilled water. This is about two, uh, just over two litres of water in here. And I think I've only got about a litre left of the distilled. Hey, guess what? I've got my amp meter working. Yay! <laughs> so you can see that amount of bubbles. 14.32 amps, uh, 14.32 volts, and about 2 amps. So I'm quite pleased with it. Two amps. Obviously I can't uh, 
I can't get a measurement of how much being produced because I haven't made the lid yet. Hopefully that'll be done tonight. Another thing I've just noticed is it's only you know more bubbles are being produced this side. Let's see if you can see that. Now this negative I've got is coming from that side so I wonder if that's uh, that may be the reason from the wire so maybe I have to put it in the middle of that bolt because there is some production on this side but definitely not as much as that side You can see there's quite a bit of uh, HHO coming off that now. Water's cold to the touch, so that's good. Right, uh, and just to prove this amp meter works, I'm going to turn it off, and that should go reset back down to zero. So I'm unplugging. Yeah. So that's back at zero. Right, hello, I'm back out in my lo mobile laboratory again. Um, I've I took the cell indoors and all I did was take it out and then put about eight more grams of uh, of uh, potassium hydroxide into the water. So there's about 10 grams in total now, in 2 litres of water. So we'll see how far we can get this amp meter up with that. Look at that, it says 0 0.38 volts at the moment and there's no, uh, and it's not even connected. So, I'll connect this up to here and we'll see what happens. Oh look at that. Oh, loads of it. Oh, it's making a nice fizzy noise as well. See the volts there? Oh, oh. Actually, I can smell burning. I'm going to take it off. <laughs> I can smell burning. I don't know what's burning, but... Uh, it's probably the stainless steel wire here and here. I don't know if you saw the amp meter, but it was just, I think it was just under 10 amps. Let me just try again quickly, and you can see. So yeah, just under 10 amps. Or it might even be 10 exactly, I'm not looking straight on. But yeah, I can smell burning. So. <laughs> I'm quite pleased with that. About 10 amps seems to be quite a lot of production. Um, yeah, I've just got to get better wire, I think. 